Welcome everyone, this is Dr. Thor, your serious war gamer, and in my search for more and more uh, catapult type um, tools to use in actual physical war gaming, I ran into this very inexpensive, I think this is a couple of bucks including shipping, and um, it's a type of kind of advanced catapult, it's eight so, uh, centimeters. So it's very small. This is made from that. This comes from that Russian company that makes these. I mean, the packaging is very nice. Uh, they've been around for many years now. And they make all these kind of little, uh, very detailed and uh, hard plastic figures, cannons. Uh, here's another type. And they also have uh, castles and other things. Um, which are kind of based a little bit on catapults. They do have catapults in most of their sets. Here's Napoleonic figures. And all of these cannons here shoot as far as I know. And um, so they have these. And they're all inexpensive, so they're kind of cool little toys. You may be able to use them in different areas. Let's open this up here and see what it looks like. I generally hate assembling things, but let's see what it all looks like. I like to just have it ready to go, which is why I don't buy this. I thought this was ready to go, but um, I guess for the price they want, um, as I said, it's very inexpensive. Um, it doesn't look like there's... Oh, here it is. Here's the spring that comes with it. And I may just put the cannon together without that. Uh, all the other stuff here. And let's look at the instructions here. Here's how the cannon itself goes uh, together. So you have that spring cannon. I'm not sure how well that fires or not. We're always looking for kind of strong pieces, but this is always a problem um, because of safety factors. And here's what it looks like, basically. It's a pretty cool-looking steampunk-type catapult system. And um, it looks like it's a catapult and a cannon or not. Well, that may be part of the catapult system. The actual... This here's the catapult-type system. And, okay, maybe it's a spring-loaded catapult there, which is kind of cool. I'll have to see how that looks and goes together. But this is kind of how it is if you order these. But they're so cheap uh, that if you're any kind of war gamer and you want to get parts or other things, I'll look for this manufacturer uh, up there. I don't know if they, they don't really have an English name, which I find interesting. Find out who they are in general. But you can find this kind of stuff on... Is there an English name at all? As I said, they're out of uh, Russia. Okay, there's kind of a... Here's the website for those that are interested. Here we go. Sale at priceleader.pro I believe that's you know, this is all acrylic. It's Russian. There's even a phone number there. You can try those addresses to find it. But I got this off of eBay. As he said, it was super cheap. And uh, you can see there's quite a few parts here. I'm going to have to look at this to see if it's worth trying constructing. But it certainly is a cool looking. Uh, here's the actual um, catapult part here um, that we have. Um, that's so cool looking. And of course, this is in this color blue. Um, generally, that's what you do. You cut these things using a sharp knife, and then you can twist them off pretty easily. So this would be the catapult part. It really is kind of a cool thing. I may put this together uh, when I have when I don't have anything to do. Ha ha. So, um, I'll look at this and see what I can do, but that's what it looks like. Here's your front and back. And as I said, I've gotten a lot of their actual figures, 
They have Vikings. Uh, they have fantasy figures. They have a lot of um, um, general warrior figures. As you can see from this one, this is kind of a fantasy group, these two armies going after each other. So they're really good, and they're well-made. They have great detail, as you can see from these. These are well-made, have good details. They're hard. Um, it's hard plastic. Um, and um, in general, is a good quality at a very low price. And the figures are cool, too. They're a hard plastic as well. So if you're looking for... Uh, figures. I'm not sure what scale they are. They're usually two to three inches, these figures, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, there it is. Castlecraft. Is the company name. The rest of all that's in Russian. So that may be something you look for. And... Uh, I do recommend these. I mean, you can't beat the price, and secondly, the quality is excellent.